Hey Pisces, welcome back to Star of the Universe Tarot. We're doing your mid-August check-in. If you do not follow me on Instagram, feel free to. I just did the new moon readings um, for Leo. Those are zodiac specific messages if you guys want to check that out. I just did a you versus them, what you need to know in the next 72 hours. Those are a bit lengthy though. I, I didn't expect them to be that long, but you know, it, it happens sometimes. Um, I just recently did a collaboration with Joey um, from King Aloha Tarot. If you guys want to check that out, it's a pick a card reading um, of the closure you need from your karmic connection, okay? A uh, quick reminder, it doesn't have to be your ex. It could be those. So just keep an open mind for who you're watching for. Um, meanwhile, also, can you check out my friend Leah's uh, Pacific Soul Leah's um, music, please? I'm going to have that right next to... Um, the link for for the collaboration and um she writes her own music you guys and her voice is just beautiful also don't forget to shop local and support local businesses you guys and check out third eye visions clothing <clears throat> that will also be in the description box below pisces you could be dealing with the taurus but I feel like somebody um, is trying to mess with your throat chakra. I feel like somebody may be trying to close your throat chakra. Um, but you have nonsense under the deck. So if somebody is speaking out of place, most stuff. You have wake up, it's your moment. And uncertainty under the deck. Don't drink poison. Pisces, somebody wants you to be in a very low vibrational state. Somebody wants you to pop off. Yeah, but I feel like with the right weight here, even though everything seems uncertain, you know that there's going to be a death to this situation because you're coming to, to the end of a karmic lesson here. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, a Scorpio, an Aquarius, a Leo, or a, um, or a Taurus here, or a Scorpio again with the death card. But like I said, it doesn't matter how uncertain things may seem right now. You know that you're waiting for this shit to come to an end and you're going to do it the right way. You're not going to indulge in anything that doesn't need to be indulged in. You're going to work diligently and you're going to you're you're going to make sure that everything every message, every, you know, um, every exchange of um, currency whatever it may be it, that it always comes out um, correctly here. Sorry, I was looking for something. Clarify, wake up. Yeah, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, because I'm telling you, you have foresight here. You know that this karmic lesson was come to an. It was meant to come to an end. And if anybody did anything to prolong it, would don't drink poison here? Because I feel like yeah, like I feel like definitely somebody tried to maybe pay for some kind of stagnation magic or try to uh, slow, slow things down in one way or another. But I feel like the, I'm, he I'm hearing the, the, sewage, uh, the sewage is about to drain. The trenches are about to drain. Something's gonna come up out of the surface. Something's gonna come out, out, of, the, out of the mist, out of the dark water. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio. But I really do feel your energy, Pisces. I really do feel the mysticism. You could be dealing with um, with somebody who's a pathological liar here, or you could be um, teaming up with a professional here, with the Queen of Swords here, that's going to help you find um, the middle ground here. Don't drink poison. You could be dealing with the Capricorn, because my d don't drink poison is a devil card for me too. Yeah. There's gonna okay. There's gonna be communication about this toxicity that's happening around you, uh, Pisces. Whether that be in a workplace, whether that be in a community setting, a family setting, but there's gonna be communication, and it's gonna be guided by the Most High. Look, with the eight, look the Eight of Pentacles again. Yes, because you're gonna, you've been working diligently towards this. Somebody's been trying to keep you caged, and what ended up happening was you got the key. You found the key to your own freedom here. Yeah, and now, and now with the Seven of Wands here, now these rats are blocked. I feel like, yeah, the Seven and the Eight of Wands here, You, I feel like you were divinely guided and divinely protected. 
and you're still continuing to be divinely guided even through your work i feel like through everyday circumstances and you're allowing yourself to have this higher guidance you could be dealing with the leo here but you got 33 and you got double eight, so you got double confirmation here. Like you got the nine of wands twice. You got the nine of wands under the deck. Um, you had the nine of wands here under the under the seven of wands, and then again over here. So something of you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but something's coming to a close here. You had the seven, the eight, and the nine of wands. Somebody could be traveling here. Somebody could have been blocking you from traveling or moving forward in the situation but i feel or possibly trying to let your person move forward towards you pisces with the nine of wands you could be dealing with the sagittarius again or a leo but <clears throat> our fellow pisces cancer or scorpio but somebody is i feel like somebody is actually going to come towards you and help work with you through this let the devil card came out again Somebody's obsessed with trying to make sure that you don't get out of this situation, Pisces. But it's none of their business. They don't have a choice here. Because I feel like somebody's coming towards you regardless. And they're coming fast with communication. And once again, there could be travel involved, Pisces. You got the Eight of Wands on top of the Eight of Wands. But this was, like I said, it was divinely guided this way. Yeah, you could be leaving some kind of toxic uh, female behind here. Maybe a karmic of some sort. You could be. Um, you, you, it could have been your. It could have been your. Um, it could have been your person's karmic with the four of wands here. Maybe somebody is is um, getting out of a living situation here, Pisces, and they're actually going to move towards you, and that and they're going to let you know that you were the choice the whole time they were just being had the communication was being held back by this possibly a capricorn but somebody who was definitely toxic it could be a gemini here with the lover's card but they're they yeah but like i said somebody put an end to this situation here with the queen of wands and the death card and they're coming towards you look they're coming towards you they're in pain too <coughs> but it's their justice that's how they were going to end this cycle. I feel like you and your person are um, simultaneous, simultaneously ending some cycles here, some karmic cycles, Pisces. And it's, I want it's not slowly moving together. Like that would be Knight of Pentacles energy. You have the Eight of Wands on top of the Eight of Wands. Something's about to skyrocket or catapult. That's the like you have the you have the Lovers card twice here. You have the Choice card twice here. You could be strong Gemini indications, but so somebody made the choice to, you're going to get a phone call here, because I feel like somebody realized that they were dealing with some kind of coven here, or some kind of group of very toxic females that were running some kind of experiments or manipulation on them, and they realize their, their value now, and they're going to move towards you, Pisces. Equally, I feel like you could have been dealing with the... Um, with um i'm feeling like taurus energy like an establishment here with the with the sisterhood that popped out but with to let the be here like you're definitely dealing with the twin flame so i feel like you guys are just mirroring each other's um karmic situations yeah and i feel like you guys both have seen the vision of your guys's future already yeah i so you guys are in the uh in the process of reclaiming your authenticity because you know what you guys are ready to chase your dreams so both of you guys are going through this major energy adjustment, taking out all these karmics from your life, and you're going to move on forward um, beautifully. That's what I see here, Pisces. All right. That's what I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.